So, you guys remember about the issue that we had with this uh, suction um, manifold and it broke from here. See, uh, my previous video I showed you. And uh, today I'm going to show you what is the aftermath of this damage. Here I have the engine block completely apart. And uh, the reason why we have to take the engine apart is because we need it to remove that. And, th and that is the crankshaft. And the crankshaft is the one that suffered the major damage as consequence of the low oil pressure, which was cause of um, the broken oil suction manifold. We can see the damage on the crankshaft. You can clearly see damage here. <laughs> see, this is the way a good crankshaft should look. And this is the way a damage crunch has look. See the damage, how it looks. And it's not only one, there is one rod uh, bearing the spoon. We have another one here, this one, and we have another one. So in total, we have three rod bearings that were damaged because of the lubrication, lack of lubrication due a failure of the um, suction manifold. But the major problem goes right here. This is the main bearing, and this one got damaged too. You can see the damage that happened. It rotate the spoon, and that is the reason why uh, we cannot reuse the crankshaft or the engine block. We can reuse the engine block, but we have to repair it. So in the other one, see how clean this one looks. It looks super nice. All these others look super nice but we have this one right here and this one destroyed the whole engine block we can say but uh, we can fix it i show in a different video uh, what is like to fix an engine block um, but uh, we have here the main bearing cap and uh, you can see the damage then happened to the cap see this happened because of the bearing when it is spun over rotate at the same speed of the crankshaft, it actually damaged the contact surface of the cap and also the engine block. Right here, we have the damage. You can clearly see the damage right here. You can see the lines. And that is the reason why we cannot reuse the uh, engine block just like that we have to repair the engine block if we want to reuse it we need to remove all these and we need to do an insert then it's going to give us give us the tolerance back and we need a new main cap and that will be it to repair it um, <laughs> we have the bearings right here and you can see how damaged were these bearings completely destroyed can tell no good at all and and this all happened because of the suction manifold and got completely destroyed uh, so as I said before a piece then cost around like 400 um, like 200 bucks something like that and labor to repair it and everything to replace that piece probably is going to be around like probably like 700 in total with parts labor oil and everything $700 caused an uh, expense of over $15,000 to repair this engine because we have to replace all the connecting rods. These are, where, where are, uh, this, these are the connecting rods and we have to replace all of those. We have to, we have to do a full overhaul because uh, we are going to repair the engine anyway. And the crankshaft and the engine block I mean, in this case, the crankshaft has to be replaced with a used one and the engine block got to be serviced, got to be repaired and uh, it is going to be a long uh, process to repair it. But so far we got it uh, where we want it, then it is discovering the damage that happened because of the suction manifold and the suction manifold is a very frail piece, as I said before, it's a plastic piece and it is the reason why it gets completely destroyed because vibration and everything over the rod destroys it and causes 
uh, different type of uh, you know problems and the major problem that is going to be is no lubrication at all because the open uh, opening of the suction manifold is too big and is not letting any oil pressure go to any of the main components of the engine but uh, that is something that you guys have to keep on mind as I said before if you haven't replaced this component it's better to replace it um, over probably like if you have 500,000 miles on your engine and you haven't replaced it, replace it, it is time to replace it if you have over 70, uh, 700,000 miles on your engine you must replace it. It is no uh, more time than you can uh, wait to replace it because that will be a very uh, important part to replace because if you don't, it is going to get destroyed. If you wonder how many miles this truck had, this, this truck uh, had like, I think like 900,000 miles. It had, it had close to the million miles like something like that, I remember. I have not, uh, the, the batteries are disconnected of the truck so we cannot see the actual mileage. But I remember then I look at it and it had like over uh, 900,000 miles, close to 1 million. So, I mean, I, it, it, it is something normal that can happen. Uh, any, any engine is supposed to do that when you have close to 1 million miles. But you know, some engines can go over 1 million miles. But this is what uh, we have right now, the damage on these bearings. And this is the reason why uh, the engine got destroyed. Uh, over $15,000 in repair. And this is something that wasn't expected, but uh, it is something that, um, you know, we are going to know when it's going to happen. The best thing we can do is to replace the component and is the suction manifold right there and that will actually save you so much. So, I'm uh, gonna continue probably uh, on this video. I need to wait until someone comes and repair the engine block right there. And if someone comes and repair the engine blocks right, uh, the engine block right here, we're gonna record that so you can see how it's done, how it's being repaired. So uh, you get the idea if what happened, if this happens to your engine, what you have to do to prepare it. So uh, you have any questions about it, you can comment below uh, or uh, you can uh, use the comment section as well to leave any of your experiences you have about this uh, problem. If this happened to you, please comment below. Probably you can share your opinions on how you prevent an engine failure or how it went when the old suction manifold fell on you. If you want to contact me directly, go to Instagram and look for me. Francisco, my YouTube, you can ask me anything directly. Just be patient uh, when at the moment uh, for, of waiting for, your, uh, for the answers that you're looking for. Um, and you want to send support, look at uh, the description of this video. I have details how to send support to the channel. Like the video, subscribe and uh, share it with anybody then wants to know that will be more than enough if you want to send support to the channel so thank you for watching